and welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some War Mother's Karma. That's right, playing War Mother's Call with Karma. Played this deck a few days ago and I enjoyed playing it. Wanted to bring it back. Um, you know, so like it's it's like the War Mother's Call deck with Shadow Isles, but instead of playing Shadow Isles, we are instead of playing Ionia, so we get Karma because getting more uh, multiple Karmas in play thanks to War Mother's Call is obviously very powerful and if if you're enlightened with Karma, you can make multiple War Mother's Calls. You can do some really cool stuff. Now, our deck struggles against aggro. We have a, a real good late game and everything, but we, we can struggle against aggro. I know that's that's where we had before, but we're hoping, you know, Avalanche uh, helps get us there. But, you know, Shadow you know, replacing Shadow Isle, Shadow Isles was like the anti-aggro region, you know, with all the life gain cards and with Ruination for the creatures and all that kind of stuff. But um, Control is really popular these days, and so we're hoping that uh, this... Uh, this will still be just, you know, just fine. Hope, hoping to get paired against some control decks. And we'll get started and we'll see what we get paired against. Play some, some more Mother's Call with Karma. Here we go. Oh, I didn't change the region. I can tell from... Well, at least I thought I could tell from that sound of it being the Demacia region. Yeah, it's the Demacia region. All right, facing aggro. We don't need these expensive cards. Definitely keeping Avalanche. Catalyst Veyons is good. That'll help us get enlightened faster. <laughs> Whoops. They missed that one point of damage. We're getting to attack. Mm. Elise is tough. Because Elise is not dying to Avalanche. So Elise can be tough. Hey, Boot, doing pretty good. Doing My pretty good, thank you. Having some... Uh, playing some sweet decks today. How was... Let's see, do I want to Avalanche right now? Yeah. I mean, I kind of wanted to play Karma. But no, I think we Avalanche. How's work been? The one good thing about Elise flipping is Elise does at least doesn't make more spiderlings now. So there's that. It's like the one the one good thing. The people are my strength. Yuck. <laughs> it's like we didn't even cast an avalanche. Like we didn't even avalanche. I knew. Yeah, more positive cases, yeah. be good. So they have two they have two more attacks before I get enlightened. So that's that's really difficult. I want to dawn and dusk this Emerald Awakener. There 
is hope. I'm glad I didn't. They would have just played the frenzied skitter. I'm dead. So I guess we needed to. Dawn and Dusk gain a little life. I don't know. That was rough. Like I cast Avalanche and then they and they still had five creatures including you know like the four mana six five trample. That's tough. Plane Gun Zed. Definitely get rid of the top end cards, and we'll get rid of the Elixir of Iron also. This looks a little better. Yeah, I mean, the, the aggro matchups are our toughest matchup, but you know, you said that War Mother seems really cool, but a bit too greedy. I mean, Control is the most popular arch archetype these days, and so that's kind of like what, you're, what we're doing here is playing War Mothers, hoping that we're getting paired against the Control deck, but the... Yeah, the aggro match can be tough, and they just had, you know, especially if they have a, a real good hand with like that, and they did, and, you know, we lost. Uh, but yeah, it's, you know, it's not perfect. You know, we're not going to, we're not going to be able to beat everything. Put the, put the one in the wrong spot. My bad, 0 and 1. These old eyes still see far and clear. So I guess this is elusives, but no two drop. Possibly. Healing potion could possibly help. I'm not sure exactly where I would want to put healing potion, but possibly. For the homestead. The order rewards its faithful. Healing Potion is great with Karma in the late game as well. Maybe, I guess it would be over like an Elixir of Iron instead of like, do we have three Elixir of Irons? I, I could definitely see playing two and one Healing Potion. I could definitely see doing that instead. Five, five dual protector. So my goal of playing the Karma was to have them, uh, you know, play more things and try to go wide. Getting the harsh winds—that's really good. That's a good card to get. That's a really good quality card to get.
So whatever they they give, you know, like they jewel protector gave something plus three plus three. We're gonna bounce that thing with Will of Ionia. That's the that's the plan right now. Could also bounce the Solitary Monk. Then if they want to play Solitary Monk. They have to pick everything else back up, but they just probably won't play Solitary Monk. Battle Fury. Alright, hopefully we kill the blade in the darkness. Yeah. We'll take that. So we had, had the avalanche. It was a good, uh, real good avalanche there. So we're looking pretty good right now. Doesn't mean that that will necessarily stay the case for too long, but for right now, we're looking pretty good. Not so much anymore. Now get to replay Jewel Protector, make some other huge um, elusive thing. Where there is life, there is hope. Have plus three, plus three. Um, I'm really glad we have the Harsh Winds. Harsh Winds next turn is going to be nice, basically saving nine life. Yeah, that's going to be important. Steady hand, unwavering heart. Yuck. Heart and mind as one. My wisdom is now my strength. <laughs> You've always just missed it. All right. Well, we have to draw. We have to draw War Mother's Call. But yeah, it's a really cool animation. Besides, obviously, I have to cast Harsh Wind, so I have five extra mana. So besides. Harsh winds, I can either just play the Hearth Guard, which is my better card, or Assassin, which blocks these things. Um, not sure exactly which way I want to go. If I play Shadow Assassin. Well, I'm glad we played Shadow Assassin. Winner's Breath is perfect. Yeah, Winner's Breath is perfect. Step like that. All right. Well, let's see. Actually, I don't. I don't think I should cast Winner's Breath here. Right? Because if they have, if they have deny, I lose. Or if I just cast Harsh Winds, we definitely stay alive, and then... If 
I cast Harsh Winds, we stay alive. It's burst speed. And then I can untap and... Uh, oh, never mind. We don't lose if, if they have Deny, because I forget we cast this twice, so one of them would resolve. They'd at least all have zero power. Um, it's too late for you. But I was thinking we untap... We have Deny back up with Winter's Breath. Alright, so now we have Deny available also. So the first one, it says, kill all, en all enemies with zero power, then frostbite all enemies. So this is going to kill nothing, but then it will frostbite everything, and then the next one will kill everything. So one-sided Wrath of God with this combo, Winter's Breath Karma. Last game, last time we played the deck, we were only playing the one Winter's Breath, and this time, we're, you know, we afterwards we talked about bumping up to two, and so we got the two of them in here. Talk about how it's uh, too good. Not that we need two of. I'm hoping that's not deny. I'm gonna feel really bad if they just also have Deny now, suddenly, that they weren't planning on casting. This is my cause. All right, I need to gain six life. That thing's an 8-7. A 1 mana 8-7. That's good. Gives me some life gain right now. That can be good. I really shouldn't play that because now I don't have deny available. Something happens. I shouldn't have played that. Because honestly, what I should be doing this turn, I shouldn't have played that. I should just see if we had to cast Catalyst or not. Because really what I should be doing is battle, casting Battle Fury on this thing, and then Dawn and Dusking that. And Looking for Battle Fury. Go eighteen nine. All 
Alright, GG's. Had a little bit of a run around there. But GG's. All right, back to Elise Darius, the deck we lost to earlier. Um, I'm definitely mulliganing these. It's just, do we keep Awakener or not? Awakener is really not that good on turn three with it being just a 2-2. A two -two. Um, we'll go ahead and chip it. We need Avalanche. Really need like multiple Avalanches. Catalyst of Aeons, game life, and... Like, right now, with these Hearth Guard, Catalyst of Aeons would be a really good turn 3 to be able to play and then play Hearth Guard on turn 4. Good. And we need no Elise. No! Not Elise. It's so much more difficult when they have turn 2 Elise. So much more difficult. Hey, Baloney Pony! Yeah, how's everything going? Yeah, I'm still here streaming. Ah, you work at a pharmacy, so it's been crazy busy. Yeah, oh, I... I can understand that. For sure. We fight for one Freljord! Today we fight as one! Let me change Is that lethal? More. I mean, I did everything I could to look for Avalanche. I Hey, there's Avalanche. I was going to say I mulliganed every card in my hand. It's me down to one. I think we need to bounce Elise. Still taking lethal. GG. Alright, so the, the spider aggro matchup is kind of tough. We're 0 2 versus that, but that was to be expected. We're, the reason to play this deck is to pick on the control decks, but where are they at? Where are they at? Oh, ref refresh your stream, Baloney Pony, and then it'll maybe come up as a notification that you can send. Lucian Elise, that's a, that's also aggressive spiders. Just don't have turn two Elise. Stop having that. Stop having turn two Elise. None of these cards say Avalanche on them, so we're gonna mulligan them. We need Avalanche. Still haven't seen Avalanche. There we go. Baloney Pony, keeping that Twitch Prime sub going. Eight awesome months. Thank you so much, Baloney Pony. I pull the string. Come on.
Don't really see how we're gonna win this. Yeah, the metagame changes pretty fast with this. With this, and every month, um, every month they have been, uh, uh, you know, like they'll up, they'll have a patch that kind of updates the cards and and changes the cards up. So every month, um, uh, that that definitely shakes a lot of things up. So you, so it's it hasn't really been, you know, super super stable. Everything's been kind of changing week by week, and which is pretty awesome, even with just one set out right now. So I'm playing Karma and praying for, I don't know, avalanches or something. I don't know what we can get. I guess we'll take that. I guess. Don't get in my way. Like more anti control removal, you know, cards. It's just... I don't. If there's one card in the entire format that's like the best against us, it's probably Elise. Like, Elise is so difficult for our deck to, to beat. It really is. Like, I don't have three damage things. And unfortunately, we've just played against three opponents that have just played Elise on turn two each time. I, mean, I guess this person played Elise on turn three, but like they were attacking on three, not attacking on two. That's the same thing. I, yeah, I think the balance of cards is working out great. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this game is very, very balanced. What? Just ancient crocolith? Come on. I was at least going to be able to do something. I was going to have this Anivia kill, like, those spiders. I was at least going to do something. But then they're just like, oh, those spiders would die? Let's just replace those spiders that would die with a 7-7. Seven, seven. What's this? It's crap. I will play my part. Oh yeah, maybe a Nivea for the for the freeze was, would be better. I was I was gonna go with these two. A Nivea would turn the other Nivea into a harsh winds. So yeah, maybe that was better. Killing both their champions. <laughs> Count Crocula. That's the name of this. This car is Count Crocula. Trying to take more turns. More attack steps. That is. Master.
they I think that was a regular rally. Oh no, that was a that was a Lucian rally. Was the other one also a Lucian rally? No, the other one was a regular one. No, deny gets rid of the Lucian. So yeah, because that that spell doesn't resolve, so so the Lucian does not get re does not get shuffled back in. So my opponent passed once, you know, expecting me to attack. It's a free attack. But there's no reason for me not to attack, but the only reason being. Since they passed, like they were, they were maybe wanting to me to attack, and then they were gonna put like more stuff out here, and I didn't want them to do the whole put more stuff out here, and so I didn't attack. I guess it's also possible that they had some kind of removal spell to kill the egg, like they were planning on blocking a Nivea and then killing egg Nivea. This is my cause. Well, now we're kind of in the driver's seat. I guess. Take a Hold back the darkness. I mean, maybe not. They could definitely have. They definitely have like glimpse beyond to sacrifice this crocolith. Stay back. I could see that happening. And then we don't get to gain life. I guess I have. I have deny. For that though, I know I could I could harsh winds those two things, but I kind of want them to play something first. Cool. The chill before the storm. Yeah, that's also true. They could have blocked the life steal with the one one, and then I gain no life. Yeah, that's also true. They could do that. I kind of figured they would be trying to kill my life steal creature, though. There's nothing to fear. All right, GGS. We actually beat Elise. Because then, after they played Elise, they they turned into like this weird, really slow deck that didn't kill me, like the other decks did. Get those points. Harvey's getting some belly rubs. Wish I could see I need to be able to like reach down this far, but that's you know too far away. I can like just barely like whenever I'm sitting up and streaming I can just like barely pet her with like my fingertips. If I could change one card, what would it be? It'd probably be Ezreal. I don't really enjoy Ezreal. I'll change something about Ezreal. Probably that like Ezreal would do one damage, not two. After it levels up. Hecarim Elise. Don't 
Double Catalyst can be good. Please don't play turn two, Elise. Please don't play turn two, Elise. Please don't turn two, Elise. Don't do it. Yay. We also drew the Archer. That was a great draw to, to stop turn two, Elise. It's our, our only answer, really. Yeah, I think I think Ezra would still be playable at one one damage. I think so. Yeah, standalone mid range felt really good. Yeah, that deck felt really good. It's only like killing two things, really. Uh, does it have a red deck wins? I mean, I guess that spider aggro would be that, either that or 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 the burn aggro, like one of those two. I guess maybe more the burn aggro. I guess spider spider aggro because you have more of that deck whenever you start. Maybe I'm supposed to just play a Nivea and attack with a Nivea this turn. Hmm. Their Wraith Caller missed. Does that mean they have Omen Hawk on top? I need to draw Karma to double up Winner's Breath. Playing the Archer takes out the 5 damage Hecarim would do, and we get to block the 4-3. It's the play that saves me the most life. I guess I can cast Winner's Breath right now and it kills Hecarim. regret not killing Hecarim, honestly. I feel like we're kind of far behind and I want to do more, but may regret not killing Hecarim. Avalanche gives these things one toughness so that an Anivi attack will kill them. Yeah, it's definitely good to have aggro decks in the, in the metagame for sure. Just at, at Magic, they just always make it red deck wins for the last however many years. They don't make anything else be the aggro deck that keeps the meta healthy. But, but yeah, you definitely need your, you know, you want you want all all aspects um, covered. And you definitely do that in Legends of Runeterra. You definitely play aggro control mid range. Like ever since I've been playing for the last, you know, six weeks or whatever, there hasn't been a time where any of those haven't been good. Escapes my 
Right now, if they just attack, we're taking five. Oh no, that goes away, so now we're taking four. Just go straight to attacks. Make these obvious blocks. Take four. It's looking like we're stabilizing. Three hearth guards. Our creatures we draw from here are going to be big. They're going to be big. This is our time. Hmm. doesn't work very well does it because yeah they just they're just gonna block this with the the four one no suffering so we may end but I guess they have to block that with the four one and they're not blocking something else three mana nine nine life steal that's gonna be a tough that's gonna be tough for Hecarim to attack through I'll be surprised if our opponent gets that from here. But we'll see what they got. Does that put them down to one, I think? Down to one. Should have played this other sentry too. I want to have twin disciplines available, so if they would have had Hecarim block, we would have had um, the twin disciplines be able to pump up the power of Anivia to kill Hecarim. Oh, come on. I guess there's a way for them to win. Boo. Alright, so I guess they did have the direct damage. They had to play Elise first to. Um, obviously, we tapped we tapped down from uh, deny range, and so that's why they cast that. But they had to play the Elise first because, you know, we had to lose to Elise again <laughs> with all all three of those losses uh, coming at the hands of Elise. Even though that that last one, not really, but. Um, but there we go. So there's War Mother's Karma. Um, you know, like I said, this is a good anti-control tool. And we really showed that off by playing against aggro. Or, you know, playing against Elise decks. Four out of five games. We played one game that was not Elise. So, that's... That wasn't great. We, I guess that was not a great way to show it off. But, um, you know, fun one to play. Just understand that... Can we talk to beat Elise? Uh, we did talk about probably, and I think we w I would change this, is to take out one Elixir of Iron and put in a Health Potion. Just something, you know, like that three life can, can mean the difference. And, you know, maybe you use the Health Potion to save a Hearth Guard. Um, or maybe, you know, or maybe after you have Karma, it's one mana gain six. And that can mean the, that can mean the difference. Um, so I think I think we would play that over an elixir of iron. That sounds good to me. Um, 
yeah. But there we go. Uh, no, there's not a there's not really a competitive Poro deck. There's you can you can play Poros and uh, you can you can win a little bit with Poros and like Professor Von Yip is a, a card that it's a four mana two three that every time you play a one mana card it gets plus two plus two so you know you turn give all your poros plus two plus two but no it's not not too competitive <clears throat> all right but that's four mothers karma so those of y'all watch on youtube hit that like button over there and feel free to leave a comment also of course if you want your deck played on stream it's just a ten dollar donation and the donation link is uh, in the video description um, if you want your, you know, just put, put the code of your deck or the idea of what you want me to build your deck around. All right, but that's it here for Warm Brothers Karma. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.